Rick in Linthicum Heights, um, Maryland. Maryland. It's a Maryland, right? Hey, Paul. <laughs> I'm currently using a Jolita 1501 integrated stereo amplifier hybrid series. Uh, my turntable is a Fluence reference, and my Vandersteen 2CE speakers uh, just got replaced today, and I've now added the defaults to the uh, vacuum tubes for, for the um, uh, for the Jolita, the 12 AX7 match tubes. And my question is, I intend to replace the phono preamp from a solid state to a tube based version. And is it necessary or recommended to have the very same kind of tubes in the chain of components when at all possible? So what he's asking is, if I have 12 AX7s, which is a very standard tube in my preamplifier, should I also make sure that that same vacuum tube type is in the other components like a phono preamplifier? Um, I guess you, you, you could do that because our inbred innate symmetry uh, functions. I think we all have them. Like we like things lined up in a row. We like things that make sense. We like things. If this works good here, then it should work good here. And I think it ignores the ability of your designer, whoever phono preamp you're going with, to elicit the very best sound that it can by using the appropriate vacuum tubes. So, for example, a 12AX7 is a great tube. It isn't particularly quiet. So if I were designing a phono preamplifier, it would probably not be my very first choice. Uh, if I were designing a phono preamplifier, I would design likely a hybrid. I would use multiple paralleled JFETs for the input to keep it really low and quiet, very tube-like sounding. And then if you want to put a 12AX7 after that, that's fine. But if it's a complete vacuum tube, which is really hard to do because vacuum tubes aren't particularly quiet. So if you're going to have a complete vacuum tube phono preamplifier, you're going to want to go for a, a vacuum tube different than a 12AX7. So I don't think I would focus any energy on finding one that uses similar tubes. Find the best sounding phono preamplifier you can buy and do that. Then figure out if the synergy between the phono preamp and your preamplifier work together. And if you do that, you'll have magic. Okay? Hope that helps. Thanks.